back to the student portfolio using Google Sites tutorial series. Um, we have posted already tutorial number one, two, three, four, and five. Today's tutorial number six is how to insert a Google Doc, which was originally a Word document. The question comes up often, how do I put my poem or my research paper that I, I wrote and saved in Word into my portfolio? And the reason that question comes up is because the students and teachers are still in the process of transferring their application of Microsoft Word over to Google Docs. So during that time period, there are still artifacts that have been created in Word that need to be converted to a Google Doc and then embedded in the portfolio. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is upload your document to your Google Docs. So before you go into your portfolio or your docs, you need to log into your account. Depending on your recent use of Google Docs, it may say Drive at the top, Google Drive, or Google Docs. Either way, uh, that's the same. So you're logged in. You might be looking at sites, you might be looking at mail, or you might be looking at your docs. Nevertheless, make sure you select Drive or Docs at the top. What you want to be looking at is your list of documents. The next thing you need to do is actually upload your Word document to your Google Drive or Google Docs. So click on this icon here on the left, Upload, and then you need to choose Files. At this point it'll ask you to navigate to your folder where the file is located. You may need help with this. If you do, ask somebody. I'm going to go to my Documents folder and grab Sample Document for Portfolio hmm. and click on Open. Now my conversion setting is off. If my conversion setting was on, convert uploaded files to Google Docs, it would have automatically converted my Word document to a Google Doc. But I can tell that it hasn't because it has this W here. That means it's still a Word document. In order to be able to insert it into my portfolio, I need to check the box and I need to click on More and I am going to export this Word document to Google Docs. It's made a duplicate file as a Google Doc. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. As you can see, my document is here and my formatting. I can insert the doc into my portfolio or I can copy and paste the text in. That's up to me. In this tutorial, we're showing you how to insert a document into your portfolio. So the first step is to click on Share with the document open. When you highlight the word Share, you can see that this document is private only to me. I need to make this public. So I can change the settings. I can make it public on the web. Anyone with the link anyone logged into Lebanon School District. I don't want anyone to have trouble viewing this document. I'm proud of it and I want to share it, so I'm making it public on the web. Anyone can view it without signing in. I'm clicking on Save. Now here's a hyperlink to the actual document, but I don't need that. I click on Now, Done. Now it's time to edit my portfolio. So you go ahead and click on Sites and you find your portfolio and when you get to your portfolio you need to navigate to the grade level in which you want to add your Google document so in this case I'm going to add it to fourth grade and I already have one page in fourth grade called my Ronald Reagan blog so I'm going to need to make another page
can see my computer's thinking. So here I'm in fourth grade on my home page for fourth grade and I'm going to make a new page. And I'm going to call this um, my document example. I want it to be an artifact submission page and I'm going to put it under fourth grade. Click on create. And it automatically will go to edit mode. I'm going to add my introduction and my reflection later. Right now I'm just going to insert the document. I choose insert in the top left hand corner. I click on insert and I look for the word document. It's over to the right and down toward the middle. I find the word document and I click on it. And it will look through all my documents in Google Docs or Google Drive looking for the document that I want to put in there and I want to put in my sample. If you couldn't find it because you had so many docs, you could search for it by keyword. And it will call up all of the documents that have that word in it. So I want to choose that. I click on select. And I'm going to leave the height at 600 and the width at 100%. I'm not going to have a title in it because it already has its own. And I'm going to click on save. Remember, in edit mode, anything you insert into your Google site is a gadget. So as when your gadget is in edit mode, you have the ability to center, right, or left align. This is the alignment, and this is ta text wrapping icons. I don't have any text I need to wrap this document around, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on Save. And as you can see, the document itself is embedded into my web page. Isn't that lovely? I can also click on the document and go directly to the Google Doc because remember we made it public. Now the other way that you can get a document, um, a Word document, onto your website is to copy and paste. So what I can do is let's say I'm on my portfolio and this is my document example here. I'm going to go back to fourth grade and I'm going to make a page I'm going to create a new page called Doc Cut and Paste. Doc Cut and Paste. And again, I'll make it an artifact submission form and I'll put it under fourth grade. I click on Create. And remember, it does go back to edit mode, so automatically I'm ready to begin working. I'm going to paste my artifact right here. So while that's open, I'm going to navigate to my Word document. This keeps you from having to upload it to Google Docs at all. It's better if you have the time to upload it to Google Docs because then you have the original document in your Docs as well as in your site for reference. But if you're in a hurry and you just want to paste the text into your portfolio, go ahead and open your Word document and highlight your text and choose Control C. Control C is copy. Go to the page that you want your text in. Click on in the cell in the area here. You can see my cursor's blinking. And hit Control V. And then click Save. And that's it. Now you have your document right into the uh, portfolio itself. So those are two ways you can get a document from Word into your portfolio. Upload it to Google Docs, make it public, go to Edit, Insert, Doc, and your document retains all of its formatting and plays in your site, or copy and paste it directly from Word.